you know, that's part of the, the love and hate relationship of Harry Roubaix, you know. It, if it was just a, an average boring race, it was predictable, it, it, there wouldn't be this magic associated with it. So, you know, it hasn't, I haven't lost any appetite to try and win it. It's uh, just made me more, more desperate to win it now. My highlights were always the classics from begin on to now. So I fall in love with these races and uh, it's still the same. To be deep in the final in these races is, means a lot for me and uh, yeah, I love these races. And, uh... I use the, uh, the new wheels that Zipper developed, the 303s. We had really, really good feeling with them actually. You know, there was always, there's always this perception that carbon wheels on the cobble, cobbles don't mix. You know, we couldn't understand why you wouldn't want to use this wheel. It absorbed more energy from the cobbles than a, a normal aluminium box section rim. So as far as I was concerned, it was perfect for, for Roubaix. We, we, you know, did 265 k's of racing and 55, 55 kilometers of cobbles and I can assure you I wasn't being careful with my equipment and the wheels survived with not a, not a blemish. Together with the wheels and the bike and everything, just had the feeling I have no problems with my hand. So uh, it was a good decision. We tested it in Head Folk. We had three riders with the 303s. And uh, I was one of them. So we wanted to say after Head Folk, this is good or this is not possible. It was perfect. Because you saw when we had this breakaway group and uh, we just roll in the first 100 kilometers on the asphalt. So I uh, had 60 kilometers on the asphalt because our group just went for after 40k. You felt that you don't have to push your pedals as hard as the other guys because they had the wheels like Eddie Max were using or you know old stuff. You know we're still going quite fast on the cobbles. We're still 50k an hour, uh, 50, 55 k's an hour. And then most of the time, what you want to do is, is have a clear sight of the cobbles in front of you, which means sitting out in the wind a little bit. So I probably spend more time in the wind in Roubaix than any other race in, in the world, to be honest with you. So for me, aerodynamics is probably more important than the um, compliance of the wheel actually on the cobbles. But I've never felt so confident, so smooth and so comfortable on the cobbles in my entire career. Sunday was, we had a massive advantage, we had a, a fantastic setup. So um, wheels, bike, tyres, was it was a perfect combination. Yeah, when, when security and durability is needed, uh, definitely 303 and that's pretty much what you need in Belgium. To choose the right wheels, I think over the 250 kilometres make a big difference. So. Uh, why not using a 303 all the year? For sure. It's possible, we do it. 